Well, Sancho is pushing for United exit. Coming in from a source that is not so much credible and it really has some um, dark spots onto it. But when you're adults, you have obviously to bring a story like this because the likes of Fabrizio Roman have gone ahead to obviously say something about the story of the Jordan Sancho, Jacobs Ben, and very many others. They really have things to say about more exits coming in from Manchester United. Welcome to United Matters Channel. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Rock and David is my name and this is the day that the Lord has gone ahead to make for us to talk to one another and i'm really excited to do this story about jaden sancho because i've been collecting these facts since day and i now have them in plenty to bring them to your know donny van der beek is one of those players trying to obviously look for a perfect club and united have been trying to obviously force him leave but other offers on the table couldn't convince him to stay at the club of Manchester United. Second video of the day, here we come to obviously bring you the latest news and information as far as all this is really concerned. Now, let's do some bit of Jordan Sancho and it has been put out by Cross Daily Star that Jordan Sancho looked to leave the club. We looked to leave the club in January transfer window. Sancho is expected to secure a loan deal elsewhere with a view to making a permanent exit from Old Trafford next summer. You know, when you look at everything and how it's panning out, it shows you exactly that it's one of those things that Sancho is pushing up for. You know, a player like Jordan Sancho, he has not been seen in such ruckuses ever since his career, really at Man City, at um, <coughs> his career at uh, <coughs> Borussia Dortmund, but this time round, he comes out and responds to the manager's uh, answers on why he never really was part of the Arsenal game. And he's still pinning the tweet. He's pinning it there. The last time I checked, it had gathered close to 60 million views of viewership. Now, we don't know how far this has gone ahead to reach, but it shows you that there is something serious. There is something serious. And it's Fabrizio Romano that's gone ahead and obviously hinted about it today. And I find it more important to obviously drop it. Now, one of the clubs where Sancho is being linked to go on and play is Bayern Munich. Sorry, is Borussia Dortmund. But the sports build have come out and really disputed all this. They've said Jordan Sancho returning to Borussia Dortmund in January is currently not possible. They can't afford his salary. I think right now, when you see Sancho push, pushing to leave the club of Manchester United, it's not about the salary. This is what the build is getting wrong. I know this is the yardstick where they're obviously basing all hinging their argument at, but I'd like to confirm to you that this is not the reason for Jordan Sancho. If money was his problem, he wouldn't have gone ahead to complain at Man United because he's earning £350,000 a week and he's going to be on that contract for the next three or four years. So why would he obviously come out and obviously put out such a statement yet he's, he's earning the money? It means he put out that statement in the name to reclaim enough playing time, to push an exit out of Manchester United because he has a different thought of all a different thought altogether about what Eric Ten Hag is wanting as a manager at the club of Manchester United. So I don't think it's all about the money. Sancho will be willing to obviously go to a club that is obviously going to give him money that will obviously <coughs> that will obviously see him really play regularly. But the big question is how many managers are obviously going to allow Sancho into their team? after the post he put out or after the tweet you can call it an x he put up and pinned responding to the manager meaning that it's really hard for Jaden sancho but all the signals show he wants to leave now today fabrizio roman has gone ahead to appear onto the united stand and he had the following to say he said i think sancho wants to play football 
He joined Manchester United with expectation that he would be a regular starter for United. In that case, Eric Ten Hag did a very good job to help the player during last season. Now, this is the biggest reason I've heard coming in from Fabrizio Romano and I think it might be really troubling Jordan Sancho and Eric Ten Hag. That on the player's side, Jordan Sancho probably feels that Eric Ten Hag has different ideas in his starting 11 and that's why he's not motivated but that's normal in football. So, Sancho has now confirmed to himself that it looks like he has no space at the club of Manchester United. <clears throat> as far as Eric Ten Hag's different ideas in his starting 11 are really concerned. Maybe Sancho finds it odd for the assignments that Eric Ten Hag is giving him to do and he believes that's not the perfect way his career is obviously going to thrive to go to the next level. And you cannot blame a player, you know? You can't blame a player for that because he was not signed by Eric Ten Hag. If he has failed to adjust to Eric Ten Hag training sessions, then he's like, let me go. Let me go because I don't feel like this is the right place for me. And for that, I wouldn't, ask, I wouldn't like us to see keeping a player the club of Manchester United doesn't want to stay. It's always said, always keep someone who wants to stay. If someone doesn't want to stay, then why do you have to keep him? So that is all about Jaden Sancho. And I think he doesn't want to be here. No reason for us to keep him here. We anticipated that maybe today would have gone ahead to get a very huge update as far as their first off between Sancho and Eric Ten Hag is concerned today, but we haven't gotten any report. But I know it's if it's not late night today, tomorrow morning, we'll be here with that update of Jordan Sancho and Eric Ten Hag because they need to sort out this as up. They need to sort it out immediately because it's affecting the dressing room. However much the players of United came out and obviously confirmed to us that they have fed up of Jordan Sancho, but it obviously keeps them in a very uncouth situation at the club of Manchester United. That atmosphere in that dressing room needs to be put in order and there is no way they are having a player who went ahead and obviously demeaned, undermined the manager of Manchester United in the media like that, yet he has gone ahead to do the needful to do a very huge transformation. and. Every positivity around the club of Manchester United, it's because of the manager, Eric Ten Hag. So, let's keep it there and see whether it's going to come to pass. If not, then we'll be letting you know who and who and what the manager has gone ahead to decide on the situation concerning Jordan Sancho. But Jordan Sancho is still a very big story. The moment he's still pinning up that tweet up there, it shows you that he is really ready to continue the fight with Eric Ten Hag. Something that is not rosy for we the fans of Manchester United and this entire world watching him through. So, Jordan Sancho to me and Eric Ten Hag need to sort out themselves as soon as possible. If they don't, then it's really going to be hard for us to come out and obviously say this one has won. For me, in this case, I don't want to see any winner. I just want to see Sancho being given his freedom. Let him out of the club. Let him bamush from Manchester United. Sell him and obviously get in players that are really going to dance to the tunes or tones of Eric Ten Hag. Now, let's talk about Donny van der Beek. Galatasaray, their window closes four days from now. That of Belgium closed. That of Saudi Arabia went ahead to close down. And Jacobs Ben has the following to say about Donny van der Beek. Manchester United are scrambling to find a solution for Donny van der Beek. Donny van der Beek is really a player that has suffered a lot at Man United. But he won't let his career be degraded to that level that he should be thrown anywhere. He wants a perfect club with a, with a perfect plan and a manager who is willing to obviously help him and obviously do something better more than 
he has always been doing. So we wait and see what happens about Donny van de Beek. That's why Fabrizio Romano appearing on the United Stand has gone ahead and told us the following about Donny van de Beek. That there is a very good chance that Donny van de Beek will stay at Man United until January. He's not going to move just for the sake of six months. Of going for six months, a move to Turkey is not likely. Now, that shows you that he, ju he doesn't want to go to Turkey. He doesn't want to go <coughs> to anywhere else. It's either the Premier League, Spanish La Liga, <coughs> all not. <laughs> Those are the teams he wants to see himself play. And obviously, you feel a little bit for him because if he has gone ahead to lose years of his career, ever since he came in throughout Man United in 2020, that was the summer, what is going to stop him to wait until January to secure a permanent deal for himself? The only thing that Donny van der Beek should stay and keep should be the his fitness levels. If he keeps himself fit, maybe a team will come in through and his agent will try to find a solution for him as a player. So guys, thank you guys for watching through. Tell me your thoughts about Sancho pushing for United exit. A welcome in the comment section below. What do you make about Donny van der Beek trying to stay at Man United until he gets a perfect club? where he believes he'll be able to see himself thrive. So, thank you very much for watching through. Rock and David remains my name. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May the living to God bless you abundantly. The Muslim viewers and subscribers, Barak Laufikum. And I sign out for now. See you later. Bye-bye.